let's go to Salem Common. It's over here to the left of the prison. Uh, in this area, we have a ladder. Uh, we also have this, but uh, it, it's a bit, it's a bunch of hay. We, we need a pitchfork before we can move it. And we also have uh, this knife sharpener, which will be used much later on. Let's keep going down the streets. Oh no, my home! Oh, it's been destroyed. Oh no, how could this happen? They ruined everything! Well, at least my knife made it okay. But no, no, that doesn't make up for the fact that my home is destroyed! Oh, I also have some bellows. Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. So, there's some debris on the road. What you want to do is click on the plank, which is on top. The one that is not underneath any other planks. Do that five times to clear the pathway to the common. Ah, unfortunately the gate is locked, so you need to grab a shovel. Then go back several screens. Use the shovel on the dirt. Now this gives us a hole with the key inside. I have no idea why the key was buried here. Very odd, very odd. Oh, and this tree, you can shake this tree in order to get an acorn. Hooray for acorns. So use the key on the common to get inside. We have some shears. And over here we have a, a puzzle. This is the clue for a puzzle. We have the seven virtues and the seven vices. I hear a snake. There is a snake. I'm going to suck up this snake using my family heirloom. Stay right there, Mr. Snake. Done. Ah! I knew I could defeat it. So here we have a hidden object challenge. The items we find are the angel and the demon. Those are the two items that you absolutely have to find in this puzzle. Let's see if we can find all the other ones. A gavel, a treble clef, uh, let's see, a flagpole, two spades, a hummingbird, a heart, and I don't see a nutcracker, so I'm just going to use a hint. That is... I clicked on an apple. Whatever. Okay, there's another hidden objects challenge over here. Uh, the item we want to find is the sapphire gem. That's the that's the item we're supposed to find. And then we need to find uh, the other items. So there's a, a flute. Let's see, we have beer steins. We have a drum. We have the female sign. We have a, a quail somewhere. I'm not seeing it. There's a cloak. Let's see, I need two of these bugs, two of those bugs, oh, and another bug, and then cancer. Oh, there's the quail. I'll use a hint to find cancer. Cancer apparently is the number 6-9. Cool. So, now that we have these statues, we can use them here on this pillar. This is a puzzle. We're going to match uh, the virtues with the vices. So the opposite of pride is humility, and the picture that goes with it is a star. Okay, next, sloth. Diligence is the opposite of sloth. So sloth, that picture is that one. Okay, next, lust. The opposite of that is chastity. That is a moon. Wrath. The opposite of wrath is patience, because generally if you cool down and wait a while, you, you don't get so angry. The opposite of greed is charity. You know, instead of trying to steal things from other people, you try to give things to other people. So that picture is this one. Envy. What's the opposite of envy? Hmm. Envy was kindness, and it's a circle. The opposite of 
opposite of gluttony, probably temperance. And that picture is two lines. Okay, solving that puzzle gives you some ceremonial beads. That's the artifact that the woman in the prison was looking for. Now before I do that, we've got some sort of animal here. You use the acorn to lure the animal out of hiding. Now I can suck it up with my family heirloom. Yeah, that's clearly a squirrel. Got ya, squirrel! Ha ha! I can see that you have what I seek. Place it in my hands and I will help you. Two things to do here. Uh, use the knife from my home in order to get a second gem. Then use the ladder so you can reach her jail cell. That way you can actually look at her and give her the artifact. Bring me my artifact and I will assist you. Now this challenge of giving the beads to the woman is a little bit glitchy with my version of the game. It caused my game to crash twice. So I would recommend just exiting the game, closing the game, and then restarting just to uh, clear out the temporary memory of the game and make sure you don't run into a glitch. So, give the beads to the woman. You have done very well. I am Tituba. I serve the Paris home. Visit the burying ground and search near an unmarked grave. It should not prove very difficult for you. If you bring me the item you find there, I will help you find what you seek. Okay, good. The game did not crash that time. She gave us the third gem, so now we have all the gems we need in order to reach the... the cemetery, the burying ground. You want to put the gems in place for a puzzle. This uh, can be a somewhat difficult puzzle. What you want to do is move the pathways so they connect. So it's going to go like this all the way here. And then the middle one is going to connect in this spot. Ah, but see, when I move it, it all, all, all the other things move. Okay, so the inner one is going to have to connect in this spot. And that's how you solve the puzzles. You basically figure out where the connections are. It looks like I was one off, so let me move everything by one. There we go. So let's do this again with the green. I get the outside one in place to figure out where the middle one connects, which helps me figure out where the inner one connects. And then I work from inner to outer and hope I did not make a mistake. I did. Okay, so it looks like I was off by one. Oh no, I was off by one, but in the wrong direction. Oh dear, okay. Yes, please! There we go! Woo! Okay. <laughs> As for blue, it's going to connect here. Please let this be perfect. Perfect! Woo! No problems. Okay. So now we're in the, the burying ground. What you're supposed to do is use your uh, pruning shears to cut off the graves. That way you can locate the blank grave. It's that one over here on the right. You can also use your bellows on the candles. This gives us uh, a frog. So I'm going to suck up the frog with my family heirloom. One more second, taken off the hint timer. 